a few words about this game. We have developed a vanilla uh, uh, game, uh, and it's a manu discrete manufacturing game. So it's not a service game, and we had in the past question, can you develop a service game? At the moment, it's, it's not what we do. We, we want to emphasize the fact that even though uh, 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 it, it really not depends on, 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 on the industry, but understanding the integration. So we think that a, a manufacturing games can carry these, these concepts. So this is a make-to-stock environment where students in group of four to six are managing a plant with SAP. They are fully accountable for profit, and the name of the game is to make profit. And they must interact with suppliers, customer, receive orders, plan production, and uh, uh, decide on their prices. And they must use the SAP report to make their decision. It's a mostly business, okay? So they are making mostly serial boxes. And uh, they have a range of product predetermined in advance, and they must decide what's the recipe of my product, so then we can talk about build material uh, uh, concept and they must price the, the, their product, and over time, some news happen in the simulation game, and they must uh, uh, adjust their strategy. It's in, it's in Germany, because in, in Canada, we feel that Germany is very exotic, and we love German beer, so we thought that de designing a game in Germany would be fun. So uh, all the plants are located in different cities in Germany, and it's the mostly German market. Okay, so all the teams in the market are competing against each other for the mostly business. And if they, uh, if they build a cartel and they price too much, well, foreigners uh, uh, comes in and they sell mostly in, 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 the, uh, in, in the German uh, uh, economic region. Okay? So it's, uh, it's in euros, it's in kilos. So uh, for uh, Canadian students, uh, pricing in euros is, is exotic. For US students, pricing in kilo is, is also very exotic. So this is all, all international stuff that we can carry through this game. The Germans, they don't really understand why we developed this game in Germany, but uh, for us, it's very exotic. Um, so, just some some stuff about like the the principle of doing a game uh, and learning by gaming. From a from a from a MIS perspective, I'm, I'm an MIS faculty. The idea is to shift the paradigm from instructor to coaches, so that we can help students through the, to discover in the system and help them find ways to use the system to achieve their goals. And, uh, and to go from specialized technical knowledge that will evolve and by the time they graduate, the screenshot of us, the, the, the point and click in SAP might change. The idea is that we want to emphasize the true uh, ERP concept, understand integration through the game. So it's really from a shift from point and clicking to a very dynamic and nonlinear learning in the system. And uh, also to switch from technical issue to business strategy issue. I thought it would be interesting to bring some Gardner stuff in uh, uh, here since they are all here this morning and all day. Uh, so there was a, a paper in 2006, a, a report by Gardner on learning by gaming, and it's not new in the literature. There's been like uh, for the last 30, 40 years, people uh, telling us that learning by gaming is more efficient. Well, they kind of discovered that, and uh, what's interesting is that they're telling us that five years down the road, uh, a company will actually start using these type of training, uh, and it's going to be a very important part of their uh, uh, business uh, uh, training uh, portfolio to train uh, uh, their, their employees. And what they're actually citing uh, uh, academic literature, which is not, uh, this is not very often that they do that, but they are telling us that simulation game help to, uh, to foster understanding and uh, provide the students with higher retention rate of, of learnings because they are they are they are gaming they are not they are not learning SAP they are running a virtual business with virtual profit and they really get into the game and it also uh, uh, create a higher level of engagement and uh, retention okay so uh, this is like a uh, from a learning perspective it's a new kind of philosophy to bring and, and to do gaming with, with students. Okay, this is a, an overview of the game, and obviously you won't be able to read it in the back. Uh, I'll show you exactly where you can get this information. But I just try to see the four main process of manufacturing. Planning, procurement, production, and sales. What we do in this game is that we want the students to actually learn decision making. So we have developed a software who 
what's, what, what it does is in the background, it connects to SAP and actually can al automate many clerical part of, doing the, uh, of managing a business to emphasize on the business decision. And you can actually turn on or off these, uh, these automation module in the simulator. So if you want your people to, uh, your students to actually master some bits and part more uh, on the clerical part, you can do it. But the idea is that we have three main automation modules. These three, the sales automation, the production automation, and the procurement automation. So the main idea is the following. Your, the students, they have to forecast they have to run the MRP and send out their POs. But the simulator takes charge of the PO, will deliver product after a certain delay, and you'll get, a, you'll get an invoice, and then you have 30 days to pay. Okay, so this is all done automatically in the background. So you might start to understand that they will need to master their cash flow, right? Because they have 30 days to pay their vendors. And then on the shop floor, you can actually schedule the orders of production, but the confirmation of production is actually automated. So you have a fixed capacity per day that you can produce. So it's a real challenge. You must decide which product will I send into the, 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 the production floor the first, because marketing, they want a, a product that, that will be selling. Sales is completely automized, and the idea is the following. You have like hundreds of uh, sales representatives that are, that are taking orders from retailers. And so your stock is selling automatically. What the students, they have to decide is the price, the marketing investment that will influence this, these sales, right? So bottom line, what's remain here is the forecasting, the, the, the when do I buy, when do I produce, what do I produce, how much should I, should I charge, and they all do that through SAP. They have to use the transaction in SAP to take this business decision. And the simulator goes into the background, pick out this decision, makes the calculation, and send back the information in the system about the sales, about the, the production and procurement. So let me emphasize on something. It's a real-time game. It's not about these strategy game where you have turn-based game, where you take a decision, there's a black box, and something is coming out from, the, the, from the, 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 the black box. Here, the black box is SAP. If you, ha you can have the best strategy in town, if you're not able to execute it in the system, it's not going to work. Okay? You, you can come with the best strategy of marketing your product. If you're not able to forecast and to have stock available for you co your customer, you won't sell. Right? So the, the name of the game is plant utilization. How can you make up a team that, is, that can optimize the shop floor uh, automation of your product and make sure that you have like a always sufficient product whenever a customer comes in and you want to sell it? It's about sales, uh, it, it, it's, it's about the um, uh, plant utilization and making all the good decisions to have the raw material in stock when you want to produce and when you want to sell. But as I just said, these modules can be switched on or off. So you can actually play the game without any automation and then bring sale automation and then bring production automation and production, uh, procurement automation at different point in time to have them learn over time all these aspects. So they, so they master the clerical aspect, but at the end of the game, it's about business analytics and taking good decisions.